This is the 2017 FRQ AP Physics 1, question number one. Uh, in this question, we have some light bulbs here. Uh, and the first question is basically asking which ones have the greatest potential difference. Okay, so the first circuit is just a simple connection to a light bulb. The second circuit is a series circuit. And the third circuit is a parallel circuit. So hopefully you can see that um, A is directly connected to the battery, uh, D is directly connected to the battery, and E is directly connected to the battery. So these should have the full voltage of the battery, and they would get B the same. So we would say A and D and E are all equal to each other. Now let's just compare the series circuit. In the series circuit, um, they essentially are going to have to divide up the voltage, split it up here. And so because of that, they would get half of the voltage. So they would be less than A, D, and E. And these two would also be equal because since they're the same resistance, they would uh, divide up the voltage equally. OK, so in terms of the explanation, well, I just explained it to you. Uh, you could go ahead and write something down as what I said. All right, the next question is asking about um, they each have the same amount of usable energy. Which circuit's going to run out of usable energy first, and which one is going to run out of usable energy last? Okay, so the key for this is thinking about power, right? So power, remember, is energy over time. So if they all have the same energies, whichever one has the most power is going to have the least amount of time, or it's going to run out of energy first. Okay, so that's what you're going to want to look at, which one has the most power. To look at power, you could look at uh, either which one has the most current or you could look at which one has the uh, least amount of resistance because the one with the least amount of resistance is going to have the most amount of current right and therefore the most amount of power so you just kind of look at the circuits and you could do some circuit analysis here so this was just going to have a resistance of R since we have two here in series this is going to have a resistance of 2R and since this one, these are two in parallel, this is going to have a resistance of one half R. Okay, so hopefully you can now see that the parallel one has the least resistance and therefore the most power. So therefore circuit number three is going to run out of usable energy first. And circuit two has the most resistance, therefore the least amount of current and least amount of power and that would run out of energy last. Now, I just kind of explained this to you conceptually and mathematically. You would have to write this as a paragraph length response, which I'm not going to do here. But just make sure you know you point out the equations, and then um, but you're actually using words to verbally explain what's going on.